Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a little vlogging. We're going to try it out. It's been requested quite a few times that I start to vlog more, that sort of thing. So I really would like to, I just need to get a little better at it. And so I am currently wearing my scrubs because I just uh, got done seeing some patients today. But I am thinking about going to the pool after I get a few things done because it is so hot. It's 102 right now currently and what time is it it's 3 30 in the afternoon already i've been seeing patients all day so i think i'm gonna put this stuff away i just got and then i'm gonna go to the pool so i'll share with you really quickly what i got i went to big lots um to pick up a few things so i'll just do a little random big lots haul it's nothing too special just some things i needed to pick up so i got a strainer because I only had a tiny one and when I make spaghetti it just doesn't work out very well. I got some dog bones, which we can't let the dogs see. Where are they at? There's Willis. There they are. Willis and Charlie are back there. So I got these really big ones because Willis likes those. They're just raw hides. And then I got these little ones for Charlie. Except for Willis tends to take them both and hoards them. I got some mailing envelopes of various shapes and sizes. Well, they're all squares, but all different sizes because I do mail a lot of things to various people, giveaways and stuff, and I was completely out last time I looked for one, so. And they're cheap at Big Lots or the dollar store. You can get a pack of two or three for like a dollar. And then look at how cute these are. So they're like little serving plates, and there's four of them. Pear, berry, melon and lime and they were originally five dollars but everything was 30 percent off so what would that be uh huh, 350 is that correct that's probably i can't think right now so they were a really nice price though and super cute and then oh my goodness okay so if you can find Paula Deen's All Natural Jam or Strawberry Preservatives. There's a couple flavors, but I like strawberry. Definitely find it because it tastes so good. So I did pick up some of that because we were out of jam. Uh, let's see here. This is why I even went to Big Lots. Let me get it out. Because I needed a power strip like this where you can plug in different um, things and it has one cord. So I needed that because in my room where I keep my makeup, which I'm kind of working on organizing right now, I have two lamps and then another lamp I can plug in if I want to film. And then I also have this mirror thing that I want to be able to plug in and there's something else my sewing machine if I want to sew anything I'd have to unplug something else so there's various things I'd like to have more outlets so I did pick that up and then I also picked up a cookbook because I've been like looking online a lot for recipes lately so I found this really fun quick quicker and quickest book and it's really fun because they have 20 minute recipes 30 minute recipes and 40 minute recipes and it was only uh, five dollars so I also got this is the last item I got you may have to look at it on the table but that's what I got it's just um a really nice box to organize let me uh, flip it over so you can see so yeah you organize inside of here it's got a really cute pink lining so like I said I'm working on organizing where I keep my makeup and I wanted something that would fit on the shelf system I have in there and I'm hoping that will fit if not I'll find another place for it so that's what I'm doing right now I'm gonna go change out of my scrubs because this isn't cute and I'm probably gonna put on a bathing suit and head over to the pool for a little bit so I'll be back in a second so this is Willis and his fox bottle he really likes it and what I mean by fox bottle is it's a fox skin as you can see and you put a water bottle in it and they absolutely love it. Look how cute he is. He just loves that so much. And when you put a fresh water bottle in, it's really crinkly. Right now, it's kind of, oh gosh, he doesn't like when you try to take it. But if you, uh, I, he won't let me have it. Ouch. Um, but no, if you put a fresh water bottle in it, it makes a crinkling noise. And he just absolutely loves it. I need to put another fresh empty bottle in there. You can do like... Uh, soda bottles as well any sort of bottle so my husband is currently getting an x-ray and I think he has a fractured rib so I hope he doesn't but he's been complaining a lot lately and I finally convinced him to go to the doctor and get an x-ray it's been a week though since he started complaining and 
It took him like two hours to get in and get an x-ray and he is not a patient person. Let me just tell you, he's not patient. That's just, if I just say one thing about him, I love him to death, but he is not patient. And so I had to hear about it when he finally did go and he had to wait. So he's just had a lot of pain on one of his right ribs ever since he went snowboarding a couple months back and fell or something. I don't even know what happened, but it went away and it came back pretty intensely. So... Um, hopefully they at least tell him what's wrong because that is another thing that makes him mad is when they don't give him an answer and he's hurting obviously and he doesn't understand why they won't tell him what's wrong. But so I'm waiting right now for him to come back or at least let me know because he's had the x-ray but he doesn't know anything yet about the results. So that's a little update on how my day has been going. I just put away my stuff that I bought at the store and got out stuff to make dinner. I put it on the counter and everything. So we're going to have spaghetti. So I'll be making that after I get back from the pool. I'm probably only going to stay about 45 minutes. There's no clouds in the sky today and it's super uh, warm like I said earlier. So I'm just going to bring my raft and float around the pool for a few minutes. So that is what I'm doing. Ooh, let me show you. I'm working on organizing this area where I film and I keep my makeup in here. So let me turn you around and I'll show you kind of some really cool things I picked up yesterday. All right, so this is a little glimpse at my setup that I'm working on. It's a work in progress, but I really wanted to show you these adorable containers that I picked up at Ross, I believe. Or TJ Maxx. No, it was at Ross. I bought these. This one was only $5.99. And it's got two holders here and a big holder in the back. And it's just got live, laugh, love all over it. Which I love anything that says live, laugh, love. I have that tattooed on my chest. And I just am really drawn to things that say that. And then I have my palettes there. But that's nothing new. I've had this little container that has little sections in it for a while. Um, but look at, I have matching pencil holders. This one actually has mascara and a knife <laughs> to cut open packages that I get in the mail. But then this one back here actually has pencils and pens and whatnot in it. And then my lipstick organizer, which I bought on eBay and it was extremely affordable, but I need another one. As you can see, this one's full. So I might buy another one and maybe try to put it behind it. Um, maybe put something under it so it is up higher so I have all of them. I'm not sure, but I need to go ahead and buy one on eBay. And then, has anyone ever had this problem? Okay, this is Passion Flower, and it's from Bath & Body Works, and I love their three wick candles, and normally I don't have trouble. But look at these wicks. They are so short, and this happened the first day I burnt it. They burnt down extremely quickly, and so now every time I burn it, it just burns in this little area in the, and I try to kind of put the wax up to the side after I blow it out so that the wicks have room to continue burning because sometimes they'll go out. But I don't know if that's making it worse by doing that. But I don't know. I've barely used any of this candle and it's doing this. This is the first time I've ever had a candle do this. Any candle, not just Bath & Body Works. I've never had any candle do this. So I don't know. I'm sure that this can happen, but I don't know if it was just this specific candle I bought or or if I did something wrong. I don't know what I could do wrong. I mean, I burn candles all the time. It's not that difficult, but yeah, so that happened. So this is a little glimpse at my setup. I am organizing still in the drawer here. I have makeup and in this drawer and then down here I have some makeup but a few other office things because this is my office as well. I'm just kind of combining the two. So, I'm about to go to the pool. I've got my handy dandy raft and it is super warm out here. I don't even want to stand here long enough to talk, but that's how Texas goes, I suppose. So that's why I'm going to the pool. I'm going to cool off and that sort of thing. Probably will only be there for about 45 minutes as I have a few things left to do. I have to do some laundry before work. I work all weekend and cook dinner. We're having spaghetti. So that's about it. I'm just going to go kind of relax and wait for my husband to get back from the Medi Center and let me know what's, oh gosh, what's going on with him. And he has to be to work tonight. He's on nights right now, so he goes in at 6 p.m. and works till 3 a.m. So um, I really don't have a lot of time to go to the pool. So I think that I will talk to you when I get back from the pool. Bye, guys. Okay, here is my dinner. Just some spaghetti with some sauce. I use this sauce, the ragu, 
traditional. Sometimes I switch it up and have the mushroom or the veggie or the meat flavored, but right now I have traditional. And then I also put this cheese on. It's 100% natural Parmesan. Uh, I don't know. It's zero carbs. No added preservatives. I don't know. That sort of thing. It's generally pretty healthy. Very small amount of fat. So I add this on the top and then I am all good to go. So this is my dinner for tonight. I also have strawberries, but they are in this sink currently. The balm is on Holt Look today. I... I think I put it on my Facebook earlier this morning when it first started, but in case you are not following me on Facebook or don't have a Facebook and you didn't see that, the balm is on Holt Look today, so if you're interested in trying out their cosmetics, I would definitely go check it out. You're going to get the items at a discounted price. I haven't purchased anything yet. I've been debating all day about whether or not I really need anything right now and I think in the end I'm not gonna purchase anything I've just been looking at the nude tude palette as I've heard a ton of people talk about it but it's so difficult because I have the naked palette the original and I have a BH cosmetics palette which is all nude colors um, I forget what it's called I think it's like the natural palette I don't know I have enough neutral in nude colors so I really don't think I need it um, but if you're interested it is on there and I just checked it again and pretty much everything is still available so by the time this video goes up in a little bit you should be able to get something if you're interested so I will I think this might be the last time I'm gonna be filming yeah I'm just gonna end up wrap this up right now I'll get used to this whole vlogging thing a little bit more in the future once I do more and maybe I'll understand what to really film during my daily life and some days will be more exciting than others today was more of a relaxed getting ready for work tomorrow day but I will uh, talk to you in my next video, and I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.